I'm so pumped about the next series of episodes here at the Trailblazers Talk podcast. Look, guys, I know we haven't posted in quite some time. Uh, to be honest, like when you go after and you build something, you get burnt out. We got a little burnt out with, you know, editing and filming and just not being content with where things are at. You know, when you're a creative, it's really easy to say, man, I'm not happy with this. Let me take some time to make it better. And although per being a perfectionist is why most podcasts or businesses and entrepreneurs never get ahead, it's because they're so in their own head to why things are not where they're at. But let me also speak on that, too, because I think it's important to have aesthetic in your podcast like there's some people talking like hey it doesn't matter what cameras you have it doesn't matter your lighting it doesn't matter your set just deliver your content which I totally understand why people think that's important because I once thought that was important I once believed that oh I could just turn on the camera and my brand will be built as long as I'm delivering my context everything will build up which in today's generation of constant competition, constant podcasts coming out, constant uh, brands going on social media, the the sea of millions, if not billions of posts today, I believe if you want to capture an audience, especially if it's people you, that have no idea who you are, the organic scroll, you have to be aesthetically pleasing. Your lighting should look crispy your cameras should be at least clear i'm not saying you have to have fx30s because they are you know they're not affordable for most people you know they're like two thousand dollars and some change so you don't have to have the best equipment i think you just have to be a good steward of what you can get you know if if, if all you have is your iphone all right bet use your iphone but get some good lights if all you have is, you know, your your MacBook webcam, all right, cool. Make your setting aesthetically pleasing. Because here's what I do believe isn't an opinion, it's actually a fact. People who are scrolling on Instagram or TikTok or YouTube, when they see a video that looks pretty creative, they stop and watch it. And of course, the context of that video matters to retain that person who who stopped and hit play and went through the video the context matters but it's the aesthetic that captured that organic attention and as a podcast here um you know we were 15 plus episodes in and i just felt like man maybe the aesthetic needs to be a little bit more creative to capture organic scrolls and i i really do stand firm on that so going into the next episode which we're actually filming Later today, we're filming a entrepreneur, digital marketer by the name of Dan Henry. Um, I feel like it's going to be such a great conversation for those who are trying to get ahead of themselves, selling a product, a course, a coaching offer. He's the go, in my opinion, at all of that. So if you're watching this and Dan Henry, somebody you want to hear on the podcast, definitely make sure you're subscribed. And you catch that next episode. But besides that, I'm really excited about the future of this podcast and where we're taking it. Um, we're challenging ourselves to be more creative. We're challenging ourselves to be more aesthetically aligned to where we believe we should be taking this podcast. And I'm really excited about the future conversations because when you're running a podcast and you're trying to get you know guests and you're trying to get credible names, they judge you by your aesthetic is the first thing they look at. Oh, could this podcast be aesthetically pleasing to my own content? Because when you film a guest, they're going to want to use this podcast as their content. And if your aesthetic isn't there, they may not want to be a guest on your show. And mind you, this show isn't that big. I mean, we have a hundred and some change subscribers. So it's not like I can leverage my followers. So I have to leverage something. And all I can leverage is, Hey, our set is aesthetically pleasing. We're using these type of cameras. Your content's going to be fire when you're a guest on the show. Those are benefits for the guests to come on the show. Because guests, they look at, 
Can I distribute my message, my values, my products to an audience? And if your audience isn't big like mine, like right now as we're filming this, our audience isn't big. Uh, it could be very big in the next few weeks, but right now as we're filming this, it's not big. So a guest has to determine how could this podcast be an asset to their time, right? Because they have to fly in or drive in. They have to come in and spend time with me here. So your podcast is either an asset because your numbers are big or it's an asset because you're creatively pleasing and, you know, this is a content day for them. So if you're building a podcast like myself, you know, you have to think about these things, especially if you want to get bigger guests, um, which I'm really excited because I, I finally feel that, hey, our aesthetic isn't the best. Like we're not dumping a ton of money here, but we're stewarding what we have and we're making it feel aesthetically aligned to our podcast, which is why I'm really excited. So thank you guys so much for just being tapped in with us here on YouTube and wherever these videos will be posted, Instagram, TikTok, etc. And uh, if you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. And Dan Henry's coming on next here at the Trailblazers Talk Podcast. Peace.